Welcome back to Vestal, New York, where we're going to go to 174. You're going to see Brevin Casella, a sophomore from Clinton, Massachusetts, currently ranked number 26 in the nation by Intermat. And he's taking on Andrew Berryesa, a transfer from Cornell University. So he knows this area really well. He is a graduate student, got his undergraduate degree at Cornell. He's originally from Reno, Nevada. So um, made the, the trek out to New York for a while, then got closer to home back in northern Colorado. And uh, he's definitely got some Greco background to him. He was a junior world silver medalist in 2018. So, you know, again, I'm sure Casella knows that. Uh, Casella making the move from 65 to 74, so making weight probably isn't as much of a battle as it was last year. Good straight on double right there. You're just seeing these college guys, like, you know, and you high school wrestlers out there watching, like, they maintain the center of the mat really well, and they know how to wrestle on the edge extremely well. Whereas, you know, we're talking about Berriasis Greco accolades, you know, with Casella, I mean, he's, he's really, really dangerous in that top position, and I'm sure Coach Nickerson and his staff know that. Um, so it's a, it's a battle of two different styles in this one. Both guys kind of feeling, you know, each other out a little bit, which you'll see a lot. And when you're looking at the team score, I mean, it, it seems very lopsided right now, 19-3. Um, but you have to look at the fact that Binghamton's next three wrestlers, including Casella, were all national qualifiers. They're all nationally ranked. Then you look at Corey Day at heavyweight, who is moving up from 184 to heavyweight. And, you know, these guys are making weight adjustments. Um, they're probably feeling better in practice, not having to cut as much weight, you know. And their strength coach, Bill Bacon, over at uh, Binghamton, probably spent a lot of time with these guys this summer. It's interesting, Casella's so tall, he's actually wrestling from his knees, which, you, you know, we've seen him do that last year as well. He's affected from there. He gets guys reacting. Barry Asa trying to fight inside. He wants, you know, maybe more of a controlled position, get to control ties. Casella doing a good job with, if you see what he's doing with his right elbow, he's pushing it inward and Almost a drag there, so good idea. Casella won his first uh, NCA match last year, which is big breakthrough for a guy wrestling in front of 21,000 people and getting a big win there. So he's making the decision to go down. Casella is, I should say. right to his feet immediately. Barry Asa just kind of content to let him go. Definitely a match that uh, the neutral position has been uh, where we've been. <laughs> Four matches to go. Binghamton heavily favored at 197 with two-time All-American Louis Dupre. But Northern Colorado has put themselves in a really good spot to win this duel. They've done a lot right, and this trip all the way out to New York for Coach Nickerson and his squad is uh, starting off uh, pretty well. And as I mentioned, they're going to be at the Bearcat Open tomorrow 
going to be, you know, pretty much an all-day event starting at 9.30. Ten mats. Lots of D1 talent. So come on out to Vestal tomorrow if you want uh, to see about 300 college matches in one day. Back to that tie-up situation. So Berriese are probably not getting exactly where he wants to go, but there, there he did a nice adjustment to get that underhook. Casella is aware of it, you can tell. He's kind of pushing on his lap there. Um, and the ref is going to hit Casella with stalling. And I mean, you know, in that situation, Berriese is kind of controlling center. He's pushing him to the outskirts of the mat. So I do understand the call. But in a tight match, again, a stall call like that can really change things, obviously. I mean, you go out of bounds and inadvertent out of bounds, like it, it's going to be a point, the next one. So there you're looking at Coach Borshoff. He knows this match is really important with the overall dual meet hanging in the balance. Content to just let that period run out. Berriesa goes down. You're going to see Brevin pull him to the side. It's a very unique tactic. It worked for him a lot last year. You don't hear a lot of people say this, but that was a really good false start. There it is, right to the side. He's going to grab his own foot here. He's actually comfortable here. A lot of guys aren't. Um, but you can tell Barry Ace is pre he's prepared for this. Casella might have tweaked his knee there. It looked like something happened with the knee right there. Because normally he wouldn't give up that position, nor would any wrestler. Um, but it definitely looked like something tweaked right there. And very uh, did nothing wrong. So you'll see right here where normally he's comfortable here, but something happens right there. And he felt something, um, whether it's the inside or outside of the knee. Uh, if it's the outside, normally that's LCL. Um, which, you know, those things, unfortunately, in wrestling pop once in a while. There you're going to get a good view of uh, Noel, the trainer at Binghamton, who does an excellent job with all the student athletes, keeping them as healthy as possible. Um, but you can also tell that, like, you know, Barry Ace is ready to get right back out there. He, he definitely benefited from that little tweak situation there. Um, and, you know, Casella now has a top tall order in front of him, okay? Um, you know, with with short time, you know, in the third period, where at least he has 143 left. Um, and I don't know. So he's going... He waved that off, the reversal. Very interesting. Um, and Casella is back in that situation again with his knee. It's hurting, it's definitely hurting. Um, and, and you don't want to see an athlete get hurt here. Um, again, Barry Asa, good job securing that reversal. So when an athlete gets injured in college wrestling, the choice goes to the other athlete, and that's why you saw a change of position. Okay, um, And I, I'm not super excited about the rule. I don't feel like if you get hurt, the other guy should gain an advantage if it wasn't on purpose, but that's what you saw right there. And so um, now he's going to ding him with the stall call. And, and that's what we talked about earlier. He hit him with just a normal stalling warning earlier in the match, and then that time he just kind of backed out, and he's hurting a little bit. I'm not making excuses for anything. You can see he's, he's kind of like a little gingery on it. Um, 
but the, those things change complexions of matches and um, this is just a huge single match win for northern colorado if it does happen but look at casella like what a gritty performance you know he he's obviously his need to, obviously does not feel the best right now and he's back in on a shot um so it just shows him you know it shows the coaches it shows the team it shows the fans the grit um so again he's in that position on the out of bounds very a, a really smart to just essentially wrestle on the edge there Tried to go big there with maybe like an inside leg trip, but that's a big win for Barry Asa. He knows it, um, and you know, Casella just needs to get feel good, get healthy, um, and get on to the next match. But a big win for him, and and the Northern Colorado staff knows that was a that was a big win in the determining factor of the dual meet score. Coach Kylie's talking to him. Coach Al 